Hi, Brent Tech here. Where tech is made simple. So once again, Microsoft is working on a couple of new features in Edge Canary, which is a preview version of the browser, as many of you would know. And um, once again, these new features, which we're going to have a look at today, are being pushed out using a controlled rollout, which is common for Microsoft to do, especially um, in the brand new features they do push out to the Canary browser, which is quite common. But unfortunately, I haven't received um, any of the features. I have been waiting a couple of days. And I thought, um, just to keep you up to speed um, and just to give you a general idea, we would just hop over to some screenshots provided by Leo over on Reddit, who has already received these new features uh, in their region and has early access to these new features. Now, the first, as we can see from the screenshot provided, is a feature called Open Suggestion in Sidebar. So um, when you are viewing a web page and um, you also want to glance at one of the websites you visited recently, visited recently um, i.e. one of your suggestions, um, you get this little sidebar icon next to those um, suggestions and those uh, recently viewed web pages. And if you click on that sidebar icon, as you can see, uh, it opens up that site in the actual uh, browser sidebar. And that's called Open Suggestion in Sidebar. And then moving on to the next, and this is to do with the picture-in-picture -picture window, which basically uh, the browser gives you the ability to automatically enable picture-in-picture -picture pip mode on video sites that you are visiting. And how this is all going to work, as we can see, is that when you switch from a video site to a different site, uh, the video window will automatically get minimized to uh, the pip mode, the picture-in-picture -picture mode, so that you don't miss what is happening in the video uh, even when you switch between those different sites, which I think will be a nice handy feature even when it does roll out to an up-and-coming stable version. And you can actually uh, enable this feature in Edge Canary if it has made it to your region using a controlled rollout by heading to the settings page, uh, cookies and site permissions. Then you click on picture and picture control under those cookies and site permissions and you have to enable automatically turn on picture in picture mode for video sites. And then moving to the next, and uh, this is the third of four features we're going to have a look at. And this is called Group Similar Tabs that basically analyze the open tabs and group them based on how similar those different tabs are, as we once again can see from this screenshot provided. And uh, um, this can be accessed and has been added to the Tab Actions menu, which is uh, in the top left side and the top left corner, as many of you may know. Uh, in the Edge browser and in Edge Canary. So that's the new feature, Group Similar Tabs, which once again is a minor feature, but um, could be useful to a lot of users if and when it does roll out to the stable version. And then the last um, new feature we're going to have a look at today for the purpose of uh, this video is Microsoft is also testing improvements to the Find on Page feature, where now um, the browser can now display an open, uh, sorry, an option to open Find on Page um, uh, in the sidebar, as we can see from the screenshot provided. And once you click that option, uh, it will then open in the sidebar. And then to change this, you have to go back to the Find on Page Flyout interface, as we can see. And you'll need to click Collapse View button at the bottom, and that will then remove that from Find on Page in its sidebar. And all of these um, features, as I've mentioned, are being rolled out in a controlled and using a controlled uh, feature rollout to um, Edge Canary users. And as mentioned, um, I haven't received them. That's why I thought we could just use a couple of those uh, screenshots to give us a general idea provided by Leo over on Reddit, who has already received access to those features. And as mentioned, some of these are minor updates and features, but could be useful if and when they do roll out to the stable version of Microsoft Edge. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.